Fine. So we can start the session. So in last class we have seen Terraform, right? So let's recap the Terraform uh, one more time. So first of all, like, what do you mean by the Terraform? What do you understand by the meaning of Terraform? Create the infrastructure. Automation. Way. Like, what exactly the meaning of automation means without having the manual uh, stuff? We can directly do it. Okay, fine. Now, so like uh, here, what is the meaning of infrastructure? Infra meaning. Resources used to run your application on the cloud. What are the examples? EC2, S3, VPC, LB, and so on. So in general, like we are going to deploy infrastructure manually. Without infrastructure, we can't run the application. So infrastructure is mandatory. So in manual way, there is a lot of time consuming, correct or not, sir? And a lot of tasks need to be done manual, and we have the chance of committing mistakes. Yeah. So then here we are going to use Terraform. So if I write the code on Terraform, Terraform is going to automate the entire infrastructure. So it's an open source tool and it is also free. It is a platform independent. It came on the year 2000. Who developed the Terraform? Mitchell Hashimoto. Owned by currently HashiCorp organization. So Terraform is written on which programming language? Go programming language. So it is also called as Infra as a code tool. IAAC means Infra as a code. Sir, with the help of Terraform, can we create infra on single cloud or multi cloud? Sure. Huh? With the help of Terraform, can we create infrastructure on single cloud or multi cloud? Multi cloud. Why? Because it is cloud agonistic, right? Not related to only one cloud. We can use it anywhere. So, fine here. So, install Terraform. This is the script actually. So, let's uh, install Terraform one more time. Let me create AC2 instance and try to install one Terraform. Let's create Terraform. So how you practice Terraform? How many of you practiced? Okay, after practicing any doubts or any queries. After executing Terraform scripts, nothing, right? Fine. What about remaining people? So let's launch the instance. Basically, my keypad is on downloads folder. Or let me move it to keypad folder. In this, I'm gonna make it to desktop. First of all, I'll put it on desktop. Or like one second. Control X. Let's keep let me paste it here. Here there are a lot of key pairs I have. All these are not necessary for me. Let me delete.
ഇഡി ഡെസ്ക് ടോപ്പ് ഓ മാൻ വാട്ട് ഹാപ്പൻ sudo hyphen i so if i want to install terraform what i need to type go to browser and you terraform install or you can type terraform download as well like in last class i said you to terraform my uh, install right if you type terraform download also it will get sir go to the very first link here are you seeing linux so which we are using amazon linux right if you type terraform install one by one one by one one by one into execute but i type put the terraform download now all of these three comments you can copy and all of these three comments you can run at a time hit enter so now terraform is some third party tool we want to give keys if i give aws configure it is going to ask me the access key and secret key already i have access key and secret key so can we use the same access key and secret key sir hi already we created one keys right in last session so i can reuse the same keys like without creating the new keys we can reuse the same one so click on access key then later on you need to go for and i want to create in front of us east one output i want on table format now give vim sorry first of all create a folder mkdir terraform cd terraform now what is the main file in terraform sir default file main dot tf so now what i'm going to do is i am going to have the main dot tf here vim main dot tf sir already in last session we have seen how to write terraform file right now you tell me how to write terraform file first of all i need to write provider which provider then later on region ah uh. then next resource what you want to create aws with label name one next year what i want to give first of all ami so i'll give it later next instance type sir if you want to give this one you can give t2 medium as well depends upon your choice but i am giving t2 micro then later on if you want to give the name it's like this just give tags name we are going to give inside tags or not sir tags is equal to just to give n guys here n must be capital name is equal to i want to give raham server for example we want to give the name where into define sir where we are going to define inside the tags inside the tags you can give your name here name n should be if you give small it is not going to work that's for damn sure and already we have seen variables right in last session we have seen how to write the variables as well these are my variables correct or not sir today i am going to start the concept called terraform var files which files var file means these files use it to store variables separately on 
teraflop that means sir if you want to store the variables separately apart from main file you are going to use what sir var files teraflop var files how to store means already i have this variables right let's write this file separately first of all save this work but before this one like uh, let me give the ami so here if i go for us east one i can find one ami and one more thing guys like climate is changing na so all of like uh, some people are getting viral fevers so be cautious even like i got affected obviously like uh, i'll i'll see daily lot of people right so it is like contagious that means it is going to transfer from one person to another person so suggested to take some precautions better so it is a ami so now what i'm going to do is i'll take two variables first of all i'll take the variable count what i'll take sir here count is equal to i am defining on variable block what is the name of the variable block instance count and the same i also i'm going to take one variable block which block what is the name of the variable block instance sir here if we go and see in main dot tf i define the variables only but variable blocks have a define on main dot tf i'll write separate file call variable dot tf if i go here first of all variable number 1 variable block what is the name of the variable block instance count it is a variable number 1 or not sir open this one so here first of all we need to write description i am not giving anything next type of the variable what i need to give sir instance count like which variable type it is number next here default how many servers i want i just want three servers same like this i need to write one more variable block variable instance type next i need to write here description then later i need to write type of the variable what is the type of the variable string what is the default value t to dot micro or medium that means we haven't done anything newly already whatever we discussed on last class i separated the variable blocks and i separated the resource block sir you can ask me directly we can define values inside main dot tf but why you wrote inside the variable dot tf means i'll ask you a question just see this it is main dot tf it is variable dot tf sir for example for dev environment you want to create t2 micro for testing environment you want t2 medium for production you want t2 large that means here the instance type is going to change frequently or not sir if you put it on main dot tf now what is going to happen you know you need to check whole file where to change where to change that means main dot tf we need to edit for example if you do something mistake on main dot tf it is going to affect the whole code correct or not so what i am doing is all the variables i am going to insert on some single file all the variables i am going to insert on now if i want to modify that value do i need to touch main dot tf i need to go for variable dot tf or not sir first thing is it is separating the blocks if i want to change the variable i need to go to variable dot tf file only correct or not second advantage is so whenever you are having some separate variable dot tf file do we need to change the main dot tf code do we need to change it that means if you don't change main dot tf it is going to be advantage or not sir why because if you change something if it is not working properly enter we need to troubleshoot from the scratch point for that purpose i am separating the variables now tell me the comments what is the comment number 1 but before that let me give this one to your notes ah first comment is terraform what is terraform minute going to do initialize the 
provided provider plugins in backend. What is our provider now? What is our provider? Terraform is not provider. Terraform is our tool actually. AWS is our cloud provider. Next, Terraform plan. What Terraform plan is going to do? Create the Oh, one second. Uh, validating provider credentials. There is some mistake. The security token included request is invalid. Oh, one second. Hey, my did not hear credentials are mistake. Let me check. First of all, we need to check from IAM point of view. In IAM, we need to see whether that user is there or not. For example, if I remove the user, credentials will not work for me. So credential, we need to search from IAM point of view. First of all, go for users. There you go. That is gone. In last class, we downloaded the user called Terraform user. If you go and see Terraform, right? I think Rakesh, you deleted this one. Okay, Kiran deleted, eh? fine. Like again, it is very easy. Of course, even if you delete it, it is going to helpful for all. You know some point, right? Whenever guys listen, troubleshooting point this is one. So Kiran, you done a good thing actually <laughs> by deleting. Here, what they are telling, validating the provider credentials. That means credentials, what you have provided is wrong credentials. First of all, don't go and check your credentials. Go and check whether the user is existed or not. Sir, do I have user now? Without user, how can my credentials work, sir? All right, that is the reason it is telling. Okay, sir, fine. Then what we are going to do now is create one more user or get the access keys of this one. Click on create user. The username is Raham. Don't delete this one. Huh? Go for next policies. Administrator access. Next. Go for Raham. Security credentials. Create access key. CLI. So download the keys now. Sir, how to change this keys means it is very easy, guys. First of all, go to root path. There is a folder called dot AWS. You know that one? If I give ls hyphen al, are you seeing dot AWS here? So in real time also, whenever you configure any AWS credentials, all your AWS credentials are going to store on which folder? Your configuration, your credentials will be there. If I give ll dot AWS, that means inside dot AWS, again, you have two files. File number one is configuration, your region and your output format. File number two is credentials, access key and secret key. Are you seeing two files, configuration and credentials? What we want to change now, configuration or credentials? VIM inside dot AWS, my credentials file are located inside dot AWS. Now go here, remove this one. Try to give the new keys now. Already I have this new keys here, so copy it from here. Is it done? So that is the way how we are going to change the credentials. Sir. Remember, all your AWS credentials and configuration is going to store on which folder? Whenever you want to change the credentials, go to dot AWS. Here, there you can change credentials and even configuration as well. Terraform. Now give the command Terraform. Plan command. Plan is not done. Of course, you can uh, skip the plan as well. Why? Because if you have confidence on your code, your code is ready. No need to give Terraform plan. Why we are giving the Terraform plan means to create the execution plan. And if you've done any mistake on syntax level, which level? Terraform plan is going to show you, sir. I, I'll tell you, like, I'll do one mistake intentionally and I'll show you now. We am main.tf. In main.tf, what I'm going to do is I'm going to remove one brace here. I will remove this brace. Now give Terraform plan. It is telling. On main.tf, server is on which file? In line number 5, resource AWS instead. That means in this block, we have the issue. We have issue on which block? What is the issue? There is no closing, there is no closing brace for the dot. I mean like dot not. Hey, one second. Are man. Fine. There is no closing, uh, closing brace for this block before the end of the file. This may cause an incorrect brace and nest else everywhere. 
So go to main.tf. It is clearly mentioning on main.tf. Am I going to main.tf or not, sir? Why? Because here they are mentioning on main.tf. And what he is telling, there is no closing brace. If you go and see, do I have closing brace there? This is the way how to read the errors. First of all, check error is on which file. And check error is from which block. Check the file name. Check the write this point. So whenever you get error on Terraform plan, first thing you want to check on which file the error is. And then you need to check on which block. Why? Because we have multiple resources block. Na? So whenever you get mistake on Terraform, plan comment. First thing you are going to check file on which file. Second thing you are going to check on block. So now Terraform plan is done. What is the next command? What is Terraform apply going to do? If I don't want to give prompting, yes. Hyphen hyphen auto. Oh, one second, auto. Uh, fine. Now, how many servers are going to create, sir? Why? Because I taken the variable as count is equal to an instance type is, oh, one second. No subnets found. Okay. And again, US is one, we don't have subnet, right? So let me change the configuration. In main.tf, instead of US East one, what I need to put, sir? I forgot this one in last class, AP South one. Yeah, we can create, we can create. That also you can do, but it, again, it will take some time and it will create some messiness for you. I'm changing the AMI as well. Sir, already we have one server, right? This server AMI also directly you can use, sir. <laughs> so this server is already having one AMI. Use this ID. Now it will create. <laughs> Why? Because in real time also we prefer Northern Virginia. Why? Because Northern Virginia is having six data centers. And if any new feature came now, AWS people will directly deploy that new feature into Northern Virginia only. Even if you go for real time, 95 percentage, we prefer Northern Virginia. Why? Because high availability is there when compared to all other data centers. So done there. Now, if you go and see, are you seeing the servers here? Raham server. So like this is the way how you can distribute the variables. So here the concept is variable.tf. Why we are using variable.tf file? To distribute the variables to separate file. Why we are maintaining the variables on separate file? Means if I maintain variables on separate file, it will make my work very easy. I need not to go inside main.tf and I need not to change and I need to search for the values as well. For example, in main.tf, we have a lot of blocks. In that blocks, you need to search for variable block or not, sir. There will be resource block, provider block and variable block. But if you create variable.tf, there you can see only one variable block, which is going to make your work very, very easy. Like that. And if you want to delete Terraform, destroy. Just to give up arrow, instead of apply, you're going to put destroy yeah, turn the switch on there
is the variable dot tf clear for all of you by we need to use means to keep all the variables on separate file to make our work very very easy so next thing is we have one more concept called variable dot tf var files variable dot tf var file means you can separate the variable folder one more time already we are having one variable block right what you can do is you can separate this variable block so let me show like how it is going to work vim variable dot tf first of all here what i'll do is i'll remove all the values delete 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 done now sir now in variable block what i mentioned here i mean like variable file only variable blocks but do i mention the values there values i'm gonna mention on tf dot var files tf dot var file means again variable block you can subdivide into one more file so what i'm gonna do is vim for example dev dot tf vars for example let's consider the scenario concept is going to be like very very interesting so let me open paint sir for example let's consider this one you need to create the infrastructure developing and testing server dev server one t2 medium testing server one t2 micro dev server i need to create only one server for testing i need to create two servers clear now in that case what i will do you know i can create two tf var files what i can create for example let's consider this is my dev server for developing what i want is i want to count is equal to i want only one server and instance type is equal to i want t2 micro oh, micro take micro for dev and for testing take t2 medium second one is test for test count is equal to i want two and type t2 sir in this case what i'm gonna do is i'll create two t of var files what i'll create two t of var files in first t of var file i'll mention count is equal to one type is equal to micro in second tf dot var file i'll mention count is equal to two and type is equal to that means if i want to create developing server i'll use dev dot tf var if i want to create testing server i'll use test dot that means am i using my files in better way or not sir why because if i mention all the information on one file only first time i want to give count is equal to one type is equal to micro second time i want to edit the file one more time this time i want to change the value count is equal to 1 to 2 type is equal to t2 that means if i use tf varna i need not to edit the configuration file multiple times i'll create the configuration file one and i can reuse whatever i want but if i don't have tf var file if i have only one variable file first of all count is equal to one type is equal to micro infrastructure will create now second time if you want to create the testing environment i will modify the count is equal to two or not sir Again, I need to edit the type is equal to medium or not, sir. This is what I'm going to avoid now. But let's see how it is going to work. So first of all, I'll create dev dot tf vars. So here I'm writing instance count is equal to one. Same like instance type is equal to I want t to micro. Correct or not, sir? like that now i'll create one more file test dot tf bars here instance count is equal to and then later instance type is equal to t dot medium now see how it is going to work i'll mention all these files first of all cat main dot tf then cat variable dot tf then cat dev dot tf and then cat test dot tf so now see first of all terraform is going to search like this terraform will go to main dot tf file which file in main dot tf file it came to know count is a variable i don't have value here instance type also a then terraform is going to search for the variable blocks in main dot tf do you have variable block now 
then terraform directly will check for variable file so do i have variable file now terraform will go to variable file and ask variable file variable file user defined to variable blocks on main.tf but that uh, bloody bullshit guy haven't given the variables there can you please show me whatever the variables you have on that file now variable file is going to tell like this main.tf main.tf this blade is control define the variable blocks only here but he haven't mentioned the values here i cannot help you variable.tf is going to communicate with main.tf like this now again main.tf is going to search for tf var files which var files first of all main.tf check on the local only if it is not on local it will go for variable file if the information is not on variable file also it will go for tf. now this main.tf is going to come to dev.tf and ask dev.tf dev.tf i have the variable block on variable.tf file but there is no value if you have values now please give value for me in dev.tf var do you have values or not sir now dev of like dev.tf var is going to tell to main.tf 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 here i can give the instance count value is equal to an instance type value is equal to i can give t2 take this values and execute again i have one more tf dot var also var also not sir test dot tf var is going to tell main dot tf main dot tf if you execute mina i'll give you two instances and i'll give the instance type of t2 micro now what i want to create i want to create infrastructure for dev what i'll do is now first of all let me give this content for you then later i'll write the command here like execution is somewhat different now so like see how i'm going to execute sir terraform apply hyphen hyphen auto approve this you know already so just to put hyphen var file i want to create infra for which environment now put hyphen var file is equal to i want to create it for dev dot that is the variable file i am going to execute or not sir so i am going to use which variable file now dev dot tf vars that means if i use this variable file how many servers will come what is the type of server hit enter one second t2 micro o oh. guys and one more thing here whenever you are using this ap south one right in ap south one some instances i will not be supported okay so what i'll do is this time i'll perform test.tf where why because here there is t2 micro is not going to work i'll perform test.tf where t2 medium is going to work now here the what mistake i have done is t2 micro spelling i have given wrong actually i'll correct it wait but first of all here uh, which file i have executed test how many servers what is the instance type applying properly or not sir check that one like why it is not working means in dev micro spelling i wrote wrong actually and one more thing is all regions are not going to support all instance types this is also you need to keep on your mind is it done now currently which variable file executed in test how many servers are there what is the instance type are you getting it or not sir raham server raham server instance type t2 medium perfectly executed or not even if i want to delete it now what i'll do is terraform destroy auto approve var file is equal to test dot tf var now that both instances are going to delete should have apply i'll put destroy so in above example also i'm going to mention this one but in above example there is no variable file na no? variable dot tf na no? remove this one guys if you don't give variable dot tf var it is not going to execute it will ask you the values actually so remember whenever you are working with variable dot tf var files you need to mention which variable file you are going to trigger for main dot tf if you don't mention which variable dot tf var file you need to execute with main dot tf it is going to ask you the value i'll show it lively for you currently is it gone or not sir now what i'll do is vm dev dot tf var here t2 micro spelling i'll write correctly t2 
micro and one more thing same thing i want to change it here also in your notes also i given this one na? let me remove all of this sir if i want to execute it with dev.tf var file now if i give terraform apply auto approve here i am mentioning the variable.tf file dot tf where i am mentioning here it will ask me the values asking or not see what is going to happen nothing why because whenever you are using the dot tf var files we need to mention which tf var file we are using so hyphen var file of course you can use that's what i am going to tell in your upcoming concept just wait so now here which one i want to use sir dev dot tf vars now it is going to take the values from dev dot tf vars in dev dot tf var file how many servers i am going to create what is the type here check it there Is it gone, sir? So, like it is how it is going to work. So, just to give clear the screen now. So, if I go and check here, how many servers will I get now? One server. And like, what is the type here? Getting into micro or not, sir? So, the best way of using variable dot tf var file means when you have different different configurations, create different dot tf var file. Why? Because if we create different TF var file, do we need to edit the variable dot TF file multiple times? Whenever you want to create info for dev, use dev dot TF var file. If you want to create info for test, use test dot TF. If you want to create info for production, use production dot TF var file. Is the concept clear, sir? So definitely you need to use dot TF var files, which is going to give lot of lot of advantage for you. Concept clear now? That's it. Now, again, if I want to destroy, so give the command terraform destroy. Auto approve var file. Now it is going to remove itself. So is the difference between variable file and variable dot tf var file clear for all of you? Tell me one thing. In which occasions we can use dot tf var files? different configurations if we have different configurations we can use tf why because means no need to change variable block multiple times right that's it online is the concept clear for all of you what is dot tf var files can you please confirm me on chat once Done now. Okay, seems everyone is clear with it. Fine. So next to concept I'm gonna tell you is Terraform CLI. What I'm gonna teach you? Terraform CLI means we can pass inputs for Terraform. From CLI. That means, for example, let's take instance type. You can pass the value. Uh, instance count, you can pass the value. Or even AMI, whatever you want, you can pass any kind of value with the help of CLI. How to do it? Means, again, it is very easy. Remove all the variable files. RM minus RF, dev.tfvars, test.tfvars, and variable.tf also remove that one. Just to go to main.tf, 
I want to have only instance type as variable now. Write one variable block. Variable, what is the name of the variable here? Instance type. But sir, here I am not defining the value. Am I defining the value anywhere here? I just said that if you want variable, like let me give this one. I just said that if you want to have the variable, go to which block? Variable block instance type. Do you have this? But here I have only variable block. But do you have value, sir? Okay. Whenever Terraform is searching for variable, first of all, it will search for main.tf. In main.tf, do you have variable now? Next, it will go for variable dot. Do you have variable dot tf now? Again, do you have variable dot tf where file now? Now, Terraform cannot find variable from anywhere. The only thing Terraform can find variable is user defined variable with the help of CLI. Then how to give it means Terraform apply hyphen hyphen auto approve. Don't give any value. Directly if you hit enter, it will ask the value. What is the instance type I want? T2 dot micro. Oh, sorry. Spelling is wrong. T2 dot micro. So taking the value or not, sir. Of course, you can pass value on one more way as well. I'll tell you. First of all, let's finish this one. done now so just to go and check whatever the value we have given is it applied properly or not applied properly now even if i want to delete just to give terraform auto approve directly it will ask the value one more time It is a method number one. You can pass the value on method number two as well. Method number two means directly you can give hyphen where is equal to give the variable name directly. I'll tell you how to give it. But CLI, we don't pass values in real time. If you ask me, okay, it is a concept to know, but majority of the cases, we won't pass values from CLI. We will define on variable dot TF where files only. Now, just to go here and uh, type like this, Terraform apply, hyphen var. What is the variable here? Instance, type. What is the value you want to give? This time, give t2.medium. What I want to give? It is the another method to describe the variable, sir. Previously, when you are passing variable file, you given hyphen var, hyphen file. But this time, I am passing variable from file or CLI. So just to give hyphen where, what is the name of the variable? What is the value? So give it directly. Now it is going to apply the t2 dot medium directly. Let's check it there. It is taking which value now? t dot medium. Just wait for it. And one more thing. So Sunday, forgot about this one. Monday, Tuesday, Wednesday. Holidays for you. So till 25, I think so. Complete holidays. So your next uh, class is going to be on 26. Like after this weekend, right? From Saturday, your next class is going to be on 26. That is Thursday. Whenever you come back from your home, Thursday, Friday, Saturday, if I take those three classes, na, our course is almost going to be Pasak. Ah. <laughs> uh. Fine, sir. Now, if you go and see, no? currently, if you keep refresh, what is the type here? T dot medium. That means this value is properly applied or not, sir. Now, even if I want to delete, just instead of apply, what I'm going to put here? Destroy. Hit enter now.
to destroying or not sir is it done now so like first of all we have seen variables variable file next we have seen variable dot tf var now finally we have seen terraform cli that means if you observe here variables you can pass in multiple ways you can pass a variable on main dot tf you can pass a variable on variable dot tf you can pass a variable on dot tf var files finally you can pass variable on cli is the concept of variables clear on terraform for everyone online what about you is the concept of variables clear for all of you can you please confirm in chat once What about remaining guys? I'm just getting response from only one by fourth. Fine. So clear for all of you. That's good to hear. Okay, sir. Fine. So next year, what I'm gonna do is. i'll speak about terraform outputs what we are going to discuss about now terraform output means sir if you create a server server is having what you are doing terraform class sir <laughs> fine so terraform outputs are nothing but here for example whenever you create a resource that resource is going to have public ip address or not sir that resource is also going to have private ip address again that is going to have host name dns we have lot of information right whenever you want to create a resource and you want to print the information of resource in that case we are going to use the concept called terraform outputs what we are going to use terraform outputs main purpose is to print the output of a particular resource that can be any kind of output public ip address private ip address instance id ami whatever output you want you can print any output so then how to use this block means go to main.tf here in main.tf write the output block but before here like directly remove this one and give t2 dot medium or micro anything is fine so now how to write the output block means put here output so output name here i am giving it as raham block name of course it can be any name next which value you want sir whenever i execute the block aws instance with label name one whenever i execute the aws instance with label name one i'll get one public ip address na give public ip for me give public underscore now whenever this resource is created aws instance with label name one it will have one public ip or not sir this value is going to show me the public ip address of the resource just try it terraform apply and destroy yeah whatever the information on street field it is going to show but only specified information it is not going to show all i want public ip it will show only public ip for me have you got the public ip just compare this public ip with real infrastructure copy this one take the public ip and paste it here and compare both of them are having same values or not sir so it can print the public ip address 
so output block is going to print whatever you want from the resource if you want public ip it will print public ip sir i want private ip address also whatever in main.tf so when you want to define multiple values we need to use array what we need to use what is the meaning of array set of set of values for example the meaning of array means so if we have some set of values so that is what you can call as array sir this time i want to print private ip na how to print means whenever i execute aws instance with label name i want private underscore ip now sir tell me one thing here we have resource block and we have output block which block we changed in resource block have you done any changes that block is not going to execute that block will not execute why because already you have server have i changed anything on resource block now now resource block will not execute output block is going to execute why because you changed which block here so that block is going to trigger sir resource block will not trigger why it will not trigger means there is no changes on the resource block if you want me to show it give the command terraform apply the moment if you give terraform apply it will compare first of all in which block the changes are happen so it is telling that changes up to output block only why because we haven't changed anything on resource level so just to give yes are you seeing private ip now click the private ip like check it the private ip getting or not sir same thing getting or not sir this time i want public dns what i want how to get it means now this time you tell me how to write the syntax now tell me how to write the syntax ah tell me aws instance dot one you public underscore dns and if you want private dns also same thing copy this one and instead of public rename private now give terraform apply auto approve now which block is going to change sir i mean which block is going to execute why resource block will not execute now there is no change na it won't execute is it done now are you getting both the public ip public dns and private dns now we want to compare go here copy the public ip i mean public dns compare these both values this and this will be equal same same or not sir so like this how the terraform is going to use the outputs what is the main purpose of using outputs to to get the specific information of our resource okay already this information will be on state file but if you want to see separately you can use this one is the concept clear sir that's it so now finally give the terraform destroy so terraform is very easy or difficult to understand sure yes sir no man why it is easy sir bit tricky okay bit tricky ha eh? If you practice, it won't be tricky. Tell me the answer tomorrow. Why? Because I just show you the concept, right? You will have fifty percentage of clarity now. But if you apply on the lab, you will get hundred percentage of clarity. What is working? How it is working, and how it is triggering the values. But guys, remember, if you learn Terraform, definitely you will have high chances to hire. Why? Because no one knows Terraform in real time. If you ask me, if there are ten DevOps engineer out of ten, only two persons will write the Terraform code. remaining seven people will don't know terraform even they will execute the files but they don't know how to write the file that's for damn sure sir okay so this is the terraform outputs so let me give this one here already i have the notes i think so here oh one second here i wrote the content already I'll copy it from here.
Next one is Terraform import. This is the last concept for today. Terraform import use it to Can you read me this one? What I wrote here? Is it to import and track the resources which is created manually? What does that statement meaning? What is it implying? No, no, no. First of all, which we have? Exactly. Exactly. For example, sir, if I create a server with the help of Terraform, Terraform state file will track it information or not, sir. Why? Because that server is created by Terraform. So definitely it need to track. But like, for example, if you create a server manually, is Terraform going to track that information? Is Terraform going to store that information? Why? Because the server is not created and managed by Terraform. For example, sir, if I create a server manually, but I want to store the configuration in Terraform, in that case, I can use the concept called Terraform import. What I can use? Understand the concept. For example, let's take it on real time scenario. You are my students. I can track your activities. I can help you and I can guide you. For example, there is one more student who is not on my batch, but still I want to track him. Like, but still he he want to get some knowledge from me. He need to communicate with me or not, sir? That means whenever you create a particular resource with Terraform, by default, Terraform will store the information on state file. But sir, you create a server without Terraform. You create it manually. Whenever you create a server manually, is Terraform going to store that information? Yes or no? No, right? Why? Because that is manually created. So even though if I create a server manually, but if I want to track the information in that case, I can use the command import command, which command? Let me show it how to do it. First of all, here to explain this concept, I'm going to create a server manually. So launch an instance, which is on manual method, you know how to launch instance manually, right? So I'm going to give the name as Raham, like manual server, the name I am giving it as manual server. Instance type, I'm going to make it as T2. Let's take T2 small, let's take. Keep a Rakesh security group, all traffic, hit enter. Now, sir, tell me how I created this server manually or automationally. That means if I create this server manually, is Terraform going to track it information? No. Let me show it. For example, the moment if I give Terraform destroy, cat Terraform state file. Do you have any information here? No, right? Now, how I'm going to import this information means go to main.tf. In main.tf, remove all of them. Remove all of them. And this even the values I'm going to remove, sir. Well, it's also gone now. Just currently it is empty block or not, sir? See, like, for example, I have one main.tf. In the main.tf, do you have any resource information? In state file also, I don't have any resource information. Now, what is my requirement here? This server information. The server information, what I created manually, I want to import this information to my Terraform state file. How to do it means copy the instance ID. What I am copying? So go here and run the command Terraform. First of all, give cat main.tf. Terraform import. I am importing a resource information to which block? AWS instance with label name. With the help of Terraform import command, I am importing a resource information to which block means AWS instance block with label number. Sir, which server resource your information? Like, are you seeing the instance ID here? This particular 
server id i am taking right that means i am importing this server information just to give the id automatically it will import the information to state file now is it working now it is telling that importing from id from this particular id i am importing the configuration to which block aws instance with label name are you seeing import successfully this resource that were imported to shown above this resource are now in your terraform state and hence for managed by terraform that means when i give this command right first of all this configuration imported to state file and now completely this configuration is going to manage by terraform only if you want me to show state file are you seeing it or not sir previously when you give state file are you seeing anything here but you are seeing or not if you want me to confirm what is the name of the server correct or not what is the instance type sir t2 small are you seeing it or not this is the way how you can use the terraform import command which command tell me why we are going to use import sir use it to import and track the resource which is created manually so in main.tf first of all you need to write the content like this and then you need to use this command clear na sir of course you can whatever you want to import you can use import for anything even if you want to import configuration of any other resource you can do it so this is the concept of terraform import command sir so variables done then later terraform outputs done and finally import so now before i ask you doubts and queries is the concept clear for you first of all what we are doing and how we are doing so then can we proceed with one more topic or nfa yes sir no no na okay then so then we go for uh, doubts and queries part so now ask your doubts and queries what are the doubts and queries you are having uh no 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 the name no, not the name basically this command is designed like this if you want me to show there is a help command whenever you want to get complete information of a command give the command terraform import the command you want to know just give hyphen hyphen help are you seeing this one now whatever the factors they have given we need to use these factors only apart from that we cannot use any other factor if you want to give just give hyphen h also hyphen h or hyphen f and help is going to show the same thing like that ah uh, that's up to your choice so no no sorry sorry you are saying instead of creating var dot tf file we can use tf var file right it won't applicable you need to have this variable block right before going for variable dot tf var files first of all you need to define the variable block where you are going to define the variable block file should be there or even if you don't want a variable file now in main dot tf you need to define that one you can also do like that so any questions or any queries in real time which ec2 instances we select depends on requirement sometimes we use t2 medium but in real time production level we need to use t2 too large that means almost all you will get for t2 2x large you will get uh, 8 cpus and 16 gb of ram actually in real time production environment basically we have three servers na web server app server database server basically for web server t2 medium is enough but for application server t2 medium we will never use we need to use at least 8 cpus and 16 gb of ram that is the ideal way to create the app servers and again for database it depends upon our requirement so any questions or any queries still want to discuss anything about terraform nothing to discuss eh? yeah already if you create automatically 
रिसोर्स इन्फॉर्मेशन इज गोइंग टू स्टोर ऑन स्टेट फाइल ना दैट्स इट फाइन What's your repo? Seventeen eight, ah? Terraform, Terraform, Terraform. So in today's class, we have discussed about variables, outputs, and import. Guys, variable means we have discussed variables on main dot tf. Variable dot tf, tf dot vals, and cli. Concept is variables only. But how many examples we have seen? Multiple or not? So still any doubts or any queries from you both online and offline